I hear you're a wicked child, Jane Eyre. Alone and unwanted. <laughs> Orphaned by fate. Both parents died of typhus when the child was but a few months old. To her relatives, she was a burden to be shunned. Have no fear, at Lowood we shall tame our unruly spirit. To her school. I'm not a liar. She was a rebel to be punished. You see this girl? Avoid her company. This girl is a liar. But through it all, she survived, destined for something more. If Miss Eyre is in a position to give satisfactory references, a situation can be offered to her at Thornfield Hall. If only Mr. Rochester would come home. Who is Mr. Rochester? He is the master of this house. When I saw you in the lane, I thought unaccountably of fairy tales and had half a mind to ask whether you had bewitched my horse. Now, what he never expected. Do you think me handsome? No, sir. <laughs> she never dreamed. Mr. Rochester! Mr. Rochester, wake up! I knew you would do me good in some way at some time. What he couldn't admit. Think there's any hope for me? Hope for what, sir? Am I being transformed? She couldn't deny. I may be poor and plain, but, but I'm not without feelings. Yet beyond the passion. Jane, you strange, almost unearthly thing. I love you. Beneath the promise. There is an old saying, all is not gold that glitters. Lies a secret. <laughs> that could destroy them both. Why did you come? Why? Why on earth? Academy Award winner William Hurt. Academy Award winner for the piano, Anna Paquin. Academy Award nominee, Joan Plowright. And Charlotte Gainsbourg. So you love me? I love you more than ever, but this is the last time I shall ever say it. In Franco Zeffirelli's film of Charlotte Bronte's timeless love story. Jane! Jane! Jane 